Today's video is brought to you by FanDuel, which is a weekly game of skill revolving around fantasy football. You can draft new teams whenever you want and get paid out on a weekly basis, so you no longer have to wait to the very end of a very long and frustrating fantasy season. Trust me, I've been there. If you're interested, game start at as little as $1, or if you use the link in the description box below, they'll match up to your first $200 for contest. So be smart, and if you're like me, always draft Bo Jackson and check out FanDuel. I might chip out, man. I got this, yeah. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again. As you can tell from the title of this video, we're going to be talking about the strong sleeves from Mark Bell and how much you bench.net. And for anyone who's been watching my videos for any length of time already knows that I'm a big fan of Mark Bell, of Super Training, of the Slingshot brand, of how much you bench.net, because I haven't really ever been let down by any of his products just yet, or by Mark in general. Although when I finally make it out to Super Training in Sacramento, I have a feeling that in the flesh, he might let me down just a little bit. But I do have somewhat of a bias, but again, because the products have just been so high quality, I really haven't run into anything that I don't like, either that I've spent my own money on or that they have sent me so graciously. And this isn't a ploy for free shit because literally I get too much free shit that I don't know what to do with, but that's a side story. Now, as part of this, I was really looking forward to these strong knee sleeves because as you guys probably know from watching my training videos, I wear my SBDs all the time. And although Mark has another pair of knee sleeves out, which I've done a review on, which by the way is linked in the description box below, those are more similar to the Ray-Ban knee sleeves and I really prefer my SBDs. So seeing Mark come out with a competing product, I was really excited. In fact, I texted him asking when they were gonna be released. Now, lucky enough for me, Silent Mike must have seen this or known that I wanted them and sent me a pair to try out and I used them the other day. And I have to say, again, Mark did not let me down. Thoroughly impressed. So that kind of leads to a lot of questions. A lot of people want to know, is it worth getting? What do I think of them? So I'm just going to run through some things off of top of mind. Number one, the price of these knee sleeves. Now again, take into consideration when you look at a good pair of knee sleeves, typically the rebands of the SBDs, they're fairly expensive. For the SBDs, the only place you can really get them in the United States is through Anderson Powerlifting and they retail for 90 bucks, which is pretty expensive. Well worth it though. Again, check my other videos on them if you wanna see more in-depth reviews on those. Mark's knee sleeves retail for $80, so a little bit cheaper. 10 bucks isn't huge in my opinion, but over time, all that money helps. Gotta buy them protons. Now the biggest thing for me with these knee sleeves and perhaps their biggest selling point and why I will be using them more than my SBDs going forward is the way that the seams work on them. So if you take a look at the SBD seams, what you can see is this diagonal cut on them. And I think that's to give you more torque. I was about to say more torque, but knee sleeves really don't help that that much. Trust me, I've tried. But the problem with these diagonal cuts is that if I don't put my knee sleeves on really straight, I find that it literally feels like my knee joint's getting ripped apart. And that's not a good feeling when you're squatting. With Mark sleeves, he's done away with this and made more of a vertical slit. We like vertical slits. Mental image popping up. But that seam up and down really helps me in my opinion because it doesn't feel like my knee's twisting, which is obviously a good thing. Other than that, they are almost fairly identical to SBDs in terms of construction and quality, which again is very high. The only other thing I can really point out is the tags on them are a little bit different and this might not mean much to a lot of people, but literally one of the things that really frustrates me about my SBDs is that when I'm wearing them and I pull them on, which by the way is fairly difficult to do because they're very tight and offer a ton of support, as will the strong knee sleeves, is they have these big bulky tags that tend to stick out a little bit. Now I know most of you probably aren't overly concerned with your tags sticking out on your knee sleeves when you're squatting, but it's just one of those little things that bothers me. And if you wanna know about more little things that bother people, just talk to my Beyonce. She'll have a lot to tell you. Or a little in that case. Hi 
So overall, I'm really happy with these knee sleeves. Again, for $80, they're very comparable to SPDs. In fact, I would say they're even better in some instances based off my own personal preferences. If you already have the SPD knee sleeves, it's probably not worth it to go out and buy a pair of these. But if you have the rebands or if you don't have knee sleeves at all, I would highly recommend you go out and check these out as I think they're very worth it. Now, the last question that will probably come up a little bit is, are they IPF approved? And I don't believe they are. As far as my understanding goes with the IPF, which isn't a very good understanding to begin with, is that they kind of have a freeze on taking on new products and new brands. I don't think you'll have an issue using these in any local meets, whether it even be USAPL or whatever federation you compete in, as they do adhere to all the guidelines for what a knee sleeve is. However, if you're competing at a national level, you're probably gonna be a little bit out of luck. But then again, if you're competing at a national level, I hate you and I don't wanna give you any advice anyways, because I'm very jealous of your lifts. But again, I digress. So overall, synopsis of great knee sleeves, very similar to SPDs, but a little bit better, well worth the $80. Mark, you've done it again, my friend. When am I coming to super training? As always, thanks so much for watching. And in the meantime, stay big.